Hello there, it's great to see you again. Thank you for joining us this evening. Our first guest tonight, Joel, is a gifted photographer who captures the magic of the moment with her camera. But that's not all she does. Mm, sounds intriguing. Well, in part two, we're going to meet Luthier Dennis Alexander of Gatineau and make beautiful music together. I cannot wait. But first, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. In the shadows of the night, the streets of Ottawa seem mysterious. What hides in the darkness? That's what Claudia Salguero hopes to discover. I think there are lots of things in the streets that you don't even look at them, but you, they live around you and they, they make your world. If you pay attention, there are lots of things in the street that tells you things. Claudia is a photographer, a graphic artist, and a painter. I've been painting and doing things with my hands all my life, and learning and actually teaching. I was teaching in a school of art kids to paint, and I decided, okay, I want to paint, and it would be just great to, to paint over my photographs. When she was introduced to Corel's software program called Painter, the landscape changed. The program allows Claudia to paint over her photographs in a virtual world, using brushes, pens, inks, and paint applied magically onto a customized computer screen. I knew about the program before, but I wasn't really looking forward to use it because I wanted to paint with my brushes and to be touching my papers. But I started exploring the tools in the program and discovering that it was amazing. It's a very natural way to paint. You can do more than what you can do in real life. Uh, so I, I decided to work, to explore the program, to paint over my photographs, and that changes everything. That changed everything because at that point I became a different photographer and a different artist, doing something completely different and that that's when everything started to happen with my images. Sometimes I use two or three different photographs and I put them together or I grab something from here and from here and I create a different composition depending on the inspiration or my mood that day, I don't know. And uh, once I have that composition ready, the next step is to decide what is the tool that I want to use because if it's a photo of a girl dancing with a very soft dress, maybe I would use some kind of brushes, but if it's something in the street, I would use uh, inks with the very defined uh, strokes, it depends. So that takes some time, but when, once I decide what is the tool I wanna use, the process starts and I create my own colors in a palette that works exactly in the same way as the traditional palette. The first image Claudia enhanced on the computer was taken at a dance festival at the Colombian Embassy in Ottawa. She added the dark background by hand once the image was printed. It was entered into an international competition and won. Once the image is printed, it's stretched on a frame and ready for the artist's next touch. She'll paint directly onto the image with pastel, acrylic, watercolor, or oil paint, depending on the effect she's looking for. Musicians and dancers are some of Claudia's favorite topics to photograph. Movement of any kind gives this artist the sense of going forward in her own life. She uses her brushes, virtual and real, to enhance the image and to explain with strokes and color what she was feeling when she took the photograph. In some cases, Claudia will paint people into a scene to give it more expression. In that example of the rain, uh, rain series, uh, at one point I was, it was nice, nice texture, nice colors and nice movement because I love, like, I love movement, but I was missing people because people are in the street and I need them there to really tell what I was feeling. And at that point I said, okay, I don't have any people on this photo, but I can just paint it. And that's what I did. That was interesting. I like shooting at night, especially when it's raining. Everything is 
more alive and you have images multiplied by two because you have the reflection in the water, in the streets, the colors are different, the textures are different and you have lots of um, images and colors to work with. So I think that's, that's one of my favorite topics. Um, the other uh, topic I really like is uh, transforming portraits into a pieces of art. And a good example of that work is what I've done with the photo of my daughter. She was uh, sitting down talking with other girls. I changed the background for a cloud and everybody see the image, okay, that's Manuela. The other image is my other daughter dancing at the Chateau Laurier, and it's the same thing. She, is, uh, she danced all the time, and she is dreaming, and being a dancer, or singing, or, and that's, that's the magic of that, that I can really show you or tell you who this person is by changing the image with my brushes. The other nice image is the one about my mom. Um, she was diagnosed with uh, cancer and she was very, very sick last year, but she really got better in an incredible way while she was in the middle of the treatment. I transformed that photo. Somebody took at her into an image with lots of butterflies around her and that image is called Your New Wings. Claudia impressed the creators of the computer software she uses to produce her unique pieces and has been invited to join a prestigious group of artists. Corel has a group of artists uh, called the Painter Masters. It is, uh, this is a group of 35 artists around the world considered the masters of uh, the usage of this program. It's a group of illustrators and photographers or uh, artists that have been using this program to create images that I, the same way I've been working with mine. But they really have been achieving interesting levels on what they are creating. And they decided to invite me to be part of that group. And at this point, I'm the only one from Latin America. Plans are underway to take Claudia's work home to her alma mater, the University of Bogota, where they're starting a course in digital illustration. She'll continue to put her work center stage, capturing the moment with her camera, transforming it in her imagination. Sometimes I feel that, I, that, that I'm feeling the same way I was feeling that I was finishing the university when I was 20, that you have a world in front of you and that I'm, I'm feeling young and I'm feeling lots, with lots of energy and I really want to learn more and to take advantage of the opportunities that I'm having in front of me. There are many, many, and, and I'm a very positive person, and I feel that being positive is the only way you can see where to go and how to take advantage of everything. So I feel that I've been lucky, I'm very lucky, and uh, I just want to be really smart to take the right decisions and to do with my artwork and with my life the best I can. <laughs> Well, what a vibrant personality and a multi-talented artist. I know, and it's so great to hear Claudia's enthusiasm about what she does and also to hear the very special messages that she delivers with her art. We appreciate your story. Thank you, Claudia.